In this video, I'm going to show you how you can contain the PA shot seams play out of the tight offset tight end. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to hit the sub button. It's completely free to do that. I also want to let you know that um, I have, today we're going to be talking about the 335 wide, and uh, this is an excerpt out of our Patreon membership. If you want to get the Patreon membership, it comes with all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks it's only ten dollars a month gets you access to everything we update those ebooks as well pretty much every single week with new material so if you want to get access to the patreon there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for that and what we're looking at today is the pa shot seams out of the new orleans playbook and the audible we want to have is the cover for show two and we're just going to come out in three through five this gives us better packages and just better linebackers. And we're going to go to cover four show two. Now, I want to first establish the issue uh, with this concept, and that is this. So this right here honestly isn't terrible, especially if you have a good cover safety. It's not terrible. As you see right there, it defends it okay. The major issue becomes when they take this left side player. So I'm just going to set the coverage up again. But they take this left side player Johnson and they streak him and they turn this into a flood. Now what you'll see is a lot of times the route ability will activate and it gets him open a lot more. Um, I'm going to throw Godwin in that position to show that a little bit better. But basically, if you have Slotomatic or if you have um, route tech on that player, he'll activate a lot more. Now, I will say, too, because a lot of the players that run tight offset, they don't run with, like, they don't have a receiver ability because they can't. Um, and you see there, I mean, it, it defended it okay. But I want to show you my favorite adjustment to guard this. And basically, it also helps with wheel routes. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take both of our linebackers and put them in curl flats. And then really important, we're going to take this this guy right here, um, Jones, and put him in a vert hook and make sure you pass commit. And what you'll notice with this is if they streak Evans, that vert hook typically will match to that route, as you can see, and it'll get double teamed all the way to the sideline, and they'll be able to drive on the ball and pick it off. So this is my favorite adjustment for that because we also, um, a lot of times you'll see the opponent do especially if they're running this and they're a good uh tight player they'll they'll run like a streak there and then a backside drag so they have kind of a they have double streaks and then they have a clear path to throw this this crosser well now you have this little curl flat that's going to sit over here and then as you can see it plays it pretty decent okay so that's that play and it really kind of fits in with the rest of the tight defense now another thing that you can do against gun tight is you can just because you don't want your part, part of the issue with gun tight is that everything is so compressed down that your defenders will oftentimes run into one another so if you base a line you'll notice here that um, it just gives them a little bit better leverage to be able to run with routes okay um, I'm not saying do it or don't I'm just saying it is an option in your tool belt and then the last thing I want to show you is how we can put our D in on the back side of this on a three rec hook. We're gonna stand kind of right in here to shoot the run. And let me see if I have inside zone. You'll see here inside zone, it's still decent. One of the things you'll notice against tight though is the run gets shedded like a lot. Now, I did wanna spend just a few seconds here on one of my least favorite runs to play and that is the 01 trap. So I'm gonna put 01 trap in here. I've got PA shot seams. And then let me see if I can find like a wheel route play. Mesh spot is a good example. And then Y out HB swing. Okay, so that's kind of like the tight gauntlet, if you will. So first things first, we showed you how to stop PA shot seams. And the second thing we're gonna show you how to stop is zero one trap. So with zero one trap, what I like to do is shift my D line to the running back side crash my d-line out and then now i can just run right down the middle see how simple of a shoot that is it's real simple literally just shift your d-line to the side of the running back which helps your coverage anyway i like to crash my line out and if they run the ball oftentimes it's going to get blown up either by the outside linebacker or by your user what you want to do with your user 
is you want to kind of stand just to the inside of this garb right here and run down and inside and as you can see i mean there's just you get the run stop before it gets going okay so real simple way to stop that and then the next play that i want to go over uh real quick is just this seam wheel so like if they did something like this to try to get the wheel route um, again you want to have that vert hook on the right and that vert hook really helps um defend this so and then and then if you can take this dn and put him in a three wreck you still can shoot the run down the middle just like this but now your three wreck should play the running back fairly decently so you see here he goes actually didn't go over there too well but he'll play the drag and then you can play the running back so as you can see it's it's decent um and just kind of basic simple uh, defense on this and then lastly this is the um, play that I personally hate going against in this Y out or Y out swing play because again what makes this formation so good is that they have this guy on the on the other side and so the quarter routes um, they get a lot more open now one thing you might consider doing is playing a cover two over on this side the only reason I'm saying that suggesting to do that is just because this cloud um, can play much much better than it would if you don't have a cloud so you might consider that but what you'll see here is this corner um, if they don't have a skate artist it's not as big of a deal but it does run because they're from compression they're so packed in it gets to the sideline really well so let me show that one more time and again we're gonna run just two purples and a vert hook the problem is a quarter if they run if they run this uh, this route with the drag to Evans this quarter quarter zone on the outside um, doesn't go back to guard it and that's a big issue in my opinion it's not how Matt should be playing against tight unfortunately but if they would run that on the other side it definitely would not work but again you know you kind of have to live with that and what you're giving up so we can take this guy here and put him in an outside third I found that to be very helpful again something like this because a lot of times they'll manipulate your match with that inside guy or the outside guy over there and what you'll see is because they don't have a clear out route um, it still gets matched to the sideline and it gets somewhat played um, you know so simple simple defense here you know obviously the post over the middle I want to show that real quick of this Y out swing what you'll see is this post should get matched by the inside safety but you notice that he doesn't do a great job so how can we defend this what i like to do is take <coughs> excuse me um take this defender phillips and put him in just a simple inside third and that'll help a little bit with that so you've got two purples an inside third and a vert hook and then over here you can really do whatever you want with with mills if you want to put him in a cloud you can if you want to man him up you can his zone really isn't going to be very helpful um, his quarter zone unfortunately if you back him up it might help a little bit more and i'll show that real quick so if you back him off manually sometimes this can help this be a little bit better you see right there it kind of kind of shadows it a little bit and then goes away so you know not too bad of a coverage defense for tight but the biggest thing with this is if they try to run like seams this is the big thing that I, I feel like when I'm playing tight I have to be able to stop this and this to me is the best way to stop it just have the vert hook and then have um, your match coverage something like this and then you know you can shift your D line here to stop the run and you know now you'll see here that this this inside third does a good job on that seam and then as you can see I can't really throw that it gets double teamed really well to the sideline so real simple plays uh, but really effective in my opinion thanks for watching the video if you want to learn the rest of the defense there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for my patreon that's going to include all my ebooks all 20 of them in addition to that we give you updates every week got a major one going in today for defense um, teaching some concepts out of the big nickel uh, over G. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. If you want to sign up for the membership, there's a link in the description.